That's right. And I want you to tell the truth mm. about the way the council's treating you. Now, I'm standing outside here with with families that are renting and paying money to Donegal County Council. And in my opinion, they should stop now paying their rent because they're paying for a the functional defective property that the council has rented them. So just just tell people your name. Desi Yamal. Desi Yamal. And th this is the wife here. Shauna Gamble. Aye. Shauna, tell, tell people how the way the council have ignored you. Well, I come back a couple of years ago, they uh, uh, thought to commit and thought down the block for the neck, and as you can see, it's not where how it cracked and thing made again, that side. Yeah. It's, 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 it's ridiculous the way that our tenants and their constitutional rights are being denied by Donegal County Council. Oh, sure when I first got elected to Donegal County Council, when I first got elected, I came in here. And I exposed what was going on with the developer and the sewage problems that were in here when, when, when I first got elected in 2009. After painstaking years and months, some of that has been resolved, but not resolved to the standards it should be. But what is worse now, that these families are actually living in accommodation that should be evacuated. Because as the years go on, these properties are going to get worse. And I want these people to tell their story because every story is different. I want you to tell your story about Donegal County Council, the way they're treating us. Well, the way they're running on, so you're on to You know. I mean, there's your young fella. He's probably worrying sick about his house crumbling around him. Uh huh. Mm. That's right, yeah. See, I've got a cable there. I've got a free belt again. Just going to show you, I'm just going to show you how bad this council property is. And Donegal County Council are basically ignoring this. Well, we have a private landlord doing unauthorised work over there and not sharing with us their engineer's report. An engineer report that should not have recommended, should not have recommended Remedial works. Demolition only. These properties need to be demolished and rebuilt. Just take a look. There's actually a young fella that's probably only about 12 or 13 years of age on that site over there. Just take a look. Take another look at this property and what this what these families are having to go through. All that there was gone. All that was gone. The camera patched it up again. So that I but I had to put a new skirting board on my bathroom on there and I had to retail my wonderself on the bathroom because it has all, it all cracked oh. and my front door had to be fixed about seven to eight times because the door has moved for the building and you can't put a new door, door on there because of the way the building is and you see, th this is the issue here in Friday's meeting I'm going to expose things that I've been exposing for months and years since I've been on the council and I'm going to continue to do that but the political parties, Sinn Féin, Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael, the Labour Party and certain independent councillors are closing a blind eye to this. They're not exposing this the way it should be exposed. But I can tell you this, I'm going to expose this the way I expose Garda corruption in this county. I'm going to make people accountable and I'm going to take the state screaming to the courts to sue them for every victim of MICA, pirate and pirate. This family here today, with many other families, are having to walk around this estate in the fear that their children could be seriously injured with fallen debris. That, that site over there is just a pure example of the type of hypocrisy that's going on in Donegal County Council and in politics in general in Ireland. And this will make the Mahan Tribunal look like a storm in a teacup. And when I say storm in a teacup, it, it will expose the failures of Irish society at public office level, what they have done not exposing the corruption that, that is involved in this whole scandal. But I'm going to expose it. I'm going to expose the corruption. I mean, what, what, what age are you young for? 18. 18 years of age? Yeah. I, I bet you're worried about your mommy and daddy. Surely, yeah. Hey? Yeah. Having to live on this, paying for this. My advice to you is now, and I'm going to get these lawyers, I'm going to get everybody lawyers, uh -huh. is not to pay the rent for this. Right. 
I'm telling every resident in Donegal that's living in a maker house, do not pay the rent anymore to Donegal County Council. What I want people to do, I want them to put their rent money into a post office account so that the council can't actually accuse them of not paying their rent. So when the problem, when they rehoused in a brand new house, they can turn around and tell the judge, we did pay our rent, but we put it into a separate account. So I'm get, going to get on the phone now to John McLaughlin again. He's not answering my phone. Um, he's not taking any calls at the minute, but uh, I'm going to keep ringing him to have this job stopped and to demand the engineer's report on those properties across the road. And if the council knew about these reports, I will hold them to account.